Hey guys, this is Jay from SFR USA. Just making a quick video in regards to um, the difference between the pre-tuned ECU and our pre-tuned ECU with our method. That's probably the questions uh, that's been popping up a lot uh, recently. I do search regularly and um, you know that's uh, probably the common questions and some people don't understand uh, the whole concept and the differences so I, I like to actually make a video this is not a bash or you know piss match or anything like that just stating some facts and uh, maybe educate some people that uh, have uh, different ideas or anything here are some ECUs I actually pulled off from my cabinet do you know I have a bunch of them in the back but uh, uh, just to show you <clears throat> um, some uh, labels here it's uh, basically the ID of the uh, each ECU um, uh, version or you know and as you can see the numbers are different you know per ECU then you're gonna actually have some same numbers you know by year model and all that um, the same thing for 3.8 this is uh, Delphi ECU and as you can see to the cover it all have uh, it all has a different labels here um, so the whole point is each uh, ECU has different tune data in it per model, uh, year and all that and they actually had to label it. Um, and this is uh, this um, actually tells you a lot that um, not all Genesis Coupe uh, per like the engine um, it has all different versions and we've been saying this that um, We've been collecting data and we've been flashing over 400 cars here and there and we've been we 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 found a lot uh, of the different versions and this is why we actually ask customers to s take pictures of your ECU and send it to us so we could actually send you a pre-tuned ECU reference to your version of the uh, ECU or customers could uh, turn in their ECU to our location here in Westchester PA um, and we could flash with the uh, you know tune data, and we um, if they need temporary ECU to uh, drive their cars meanwhile, so there is no downtime, we we send you one, and a little extra cost for the shipping. You know I think we charge another thirty bucks. You know shipping it, shipping your ECU, and we use like just a priority to save some money. You know we don't need to do the overnight, and that's that's the whole concept, and. Uh, back to the question, the pre-tuned ECU uh, that uh, uh, like certain ver uh, I mean, even not even just the uh, pre-tuned ECU, even the module that's been out for a uh, you know a couple of years now, it doesn't have the ability to pull your original data. Um, what it really means is they give you a stockish data saved to your uh, module which is not meant to be for your uh, car in the first place and once you actually uh, flash it with that module that wipes out the whole your original versions of ECU and gives you some stockish data that's that's not really meant to be for your car in the first place and same thing with the pre-tuned ECU that's gonna come with uh, they never ask your ear I mean they, they probably ask your ear but model version or even take you know pictures of your ECU meaning it's going to be, <clears throat> your car's going to be running with some unknown data, uh, pre-tuned, uh, you know, reference to some unknown data, basically. Of course, that's uh, very convenient, you know, having, you know, module, you know, flashing back and forth. Um, but uh, the problem actually raised recently and the dealership could find out even if you turn it back to stop, uh, if they actually really, really look into details, and obviously the uh, the Cal ID, uh, which is actually on the uh, ECU, doesn't match your vehicle because you, obviously you wiped out your stock data and flashed with the, some stockish data that's not meant to be for your car, for your car. So if they look into details, they can find out that's been flashed already, and I mean. It's not like I'm making this up, you know, we have a couple of members already, you know, got into that, uh, you know, BS already. So, uh, th that's proven. And this is the email, you know, I've been getting some emails like this uh, recently a lot. I'm not going to 
name the vendor or anything. This person has 2012, so it's actually a brand new car. And had uh, he has been running with this uh, pre-tuned ECU for about, you know, a couple of months. And um, it pre-tuned directly from, you know, this location. And um, uh, it, just, it started to uh, giving him problems. You know, EVAP system was messing up and he's smelling like all this fuel and and i actually kind of explained to him and he's like oh the, it, it start to make sense now that um you know he, he wouldn't be surprised that the changes to 2012 and u.s model might not be compatible um you know the the vendor didn't ask for the calibration code or the picture and uh it makes sense to me uh, to him that uh, they might have messed it up and once again you know there is already a difference as we all know uh, between 2010 and 11 3.8 they actually had to uh, move the catalytic converter a little further uh, down to a downpipe um, in order to have the uh, cat to heat up a little later than the 2010 models in order i mean i'm pretty sure there was a changes more like that that like very minor changes that we can't really even see um and all has to be stored to the ecu and that's going to affect your car in the long run or short run or short run back to the question basically our tune is all reference to your virgin and we even ask you to mail in your original data uh, i mean ecu so we could pull your original data and make a tune reference to that and if you want to, we could actually uh, make a core ECU, make a spare that's uh, pre-tuned and use just keep the stock one. And you could have a, just a tuned ECU and uh, you have to have do the like warranty service, some major, major thing that uh, you, you're so worried about. Then you could actually turn in your ECU and we flash back to stock for free. And that's what we've been doing. We don't brag about it, but we've actually been doing that for free. And... Uh, and after the uh, warranty service is done, we'll flash back to uh, uh, the tune data for free. And you just have to pay for the shipping, you know, and that's about it. And uh, we actually have this uh, revolutionary uh, ECU tuning method for 2.0 only. Sorry, uh, sorry to uh, 3.8 guys, but yeah, 2.0 only, it's catching the whole game in the market. That's gonna come uh, in within a month or two. It's in works, and we're doing still. We're still doing some testings and trying to confirm uh, that uh, everything will work. But uh, yeah, the whole point of me saying this is the ECU, even the pre-tuned ECU or the, any flash the ECU should be meant to be your car. And um, in order to have, in order not to have any problems in the near future, or, you know, later down the road. Um, so hopefully this uh, actually explained a lot and um, you know give you a better idea and also uh, give some customers a, a, to make better decisions I mean once again it's all your choice <clears throat> but uh, I just hate to see people saying some false statement and don't see the differences and uh, once again uh, there's a huge difference between these two thanks for watching and have a good day